You are now entering the Queen Up Chronicles Talk Zone, the place where crowns are corrected, kings are supported, and the love is real. What up, Jay? Queen Up! We're moving, we're grooving, we're building, we're loving, we're queening. Good day, kings and queens. I am Jay West. Welcome to the Royalty Room. Thank you so much for tuning in to Queen Up Chronicles Talk. I really appreciate your support. And now it's time for the Royal Tea. I need you to, I need y'all to ring the bell. All right, the Royal Tea is, should a woman shoot her shot? Basically, should a woman pursue a man? Well, it's a no for me. <laughs> now, everything I talk about on Queen of Chronicles Talk is something that I've experienced personally. So a moment of transparency, let me share with you. I've shot my shot at least three times, and it's been a fail. So I'm gonna give you one scenario where I shot my shot and I knew it wasn't a thing for me. Because oftentimes, we as women buy into the societal ideology of what a woman should be, who she should be, and how she should pursue her man. I was told, you're independent, you make your own money, girl, you're doing your thing, and you can do anything that you want to do. And that's factual in a lot of areas, but when pursuing a man, the Bible says when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. I haven't read anywhere in the Bible where it says when a woman finds a husband, she finds a good thing. So I don't think it exists. Nevertheless, I bought into it. I adhered to it. So let me paint the picture for y'all. And I want y'all to ring the royal bell, right? So I'm an iguana. Picture this. And I wore my outfit. I was on my A-game, sisters. Y'all know I went shopping earlier in the day, Macy's, and I was doing my thing, right? I had my hair chopped up and some layered and layered cut. This was about 15, 20 years ago, I'm talking. So I'm there, I'm sitting at the bar, and I see a man, and he is fine, Queens. Yes, girl. He is the capital F in fine, all right? So we make eye contact, and I'm thinking he's feeling me, I'm feeling him. So I decided, hey, after all, I'm an independent woman, right? Let me send him a drink. So I called the bartender over, and I asked her to ask the gentleman, what is he drinking? And he was drinking Grand Maillet, girl. <laughs> what he know about Grand Maillet, girl? So I was impressed by that, to say the least, right? So I sent the Grand Maillet over to the gentleman. He sat there. He, we raised our glasses. We toasted via the air, right? We toasted each other. And he enjoyed his beverage. Um, later on in the evening, I assumed or I thought that he would come over and we would have a conversation. Um, that didn't happen. So again, being the woman that I am, independent, right? <laughs> I asked the bartender to tell him to come over to engage me, to have a conversation. So he came over and I introduced myself and I was, I was feeling myself. By that time I had had two Long Island iced teas. Y'all know those Long Island iced teas get you right, right? Okay, ring the, <laughs> ring the bell on those Long Island iced teas. So the gentleman came over, we had a conversation. But ladies, right off the bat, I can tell that he was like, you pursued me, you want me, what do you have to offer? At that point, I realized the dynamics have changed. Let me tell you something, ladies. Men and women don't think alike, we don't act alike, we don't respond to the same stimuli the same, and we shouldn't want that. We shouldn't desire men and women to be the same because we're totally different. But because I had changed the dynamics of the encounter, he already automatically felt like I should be pursuing him even more. He didn't offer me a second drink, he didn't try to engage me. I was leading the entire conversation from the beginning to the end. And inevitably, the discussion went to sexual because I had set myself up for that. After all, I laid it out there. I had shown my hand too soon, right? I did, and I admit that. So I'm totally against, at this juncture, at this point in my life, I'm totally against a woman shooting her shot. A woman should not pursue a man. Now, no. Y'all gonna have your comments, you're gonna have your concerns, and that's why you have the opportunity to sound off in the comments below the YouTube video, sound off on my Instagram page, Queen Up Chronicles Talk, and I would love to hear your comments. Even if it's different from mine, we'll just have to agree to disagree. I need y'all to sign off on, sound off on the comments, right? So I'm gonna go to a quick commercial break. I'm gonna show you what Queen Up Chronicles Talk has to offer, and I look forward to engaging with you after the commercial. Stay tuned. Up, Queen Up Movement is offering statement t-shirts. Kings are essential. Queens are essential. If you have a valuable person in your life, let him or her know. It is important. Send a message to Queen Up Movement on Instagram for inquiries. 
Welcome back to Queen of Chronicles Talk. I am Jay West. Now the discussion is, the royalty is, should a woman shoot her shot? And my answer is absolutely no. And I'm going to give you four reasons why I think it's a big no. Number one, it prevents you from being vulnerable. I love being a woman. I love being sensual. I love being soft to the touch and sweet to the taste. Yes, that's what I said. All right, I love that. And pursuing a man negates that, number one. And number two, the gentleman will take you for granted. After all, you've laid your cards on the line. You've said, I want you. And basically, I'm willing to do anything that it takes to have you. So if you've shown your hand too soon. Number three, it makes a woman seem desperate. Even if you're not, ladies, in your singleness, engage in yourself, love yourself, know your worth, right, and your value. So shooting your shot can sometimes make you seem desperate, even if you're not. And that's point number three. And last but not least, the gentleman will lose respect for you. After all, he didn't have to pursue you. He didn't have to, pr he didn't have to prove himself. He didn't have to do anything for you but to be who he was. And you don't even know who he is. So allow a man to pursue you, allow a man to engage you, and to show you who he is. Know your worth, know your value. You're so much more better, you're so much better than that. All right? So, oh, do you hear that? Do you hear that? Oh, let me put my glasses on. Y'all know what time it is. Breaking news. Breaking news and the votes are in the consensus is that Facebook needs to add a I don't give a damn button, all right? And I totally agree. <laughs> Let me tell you the reasons why the I don't give a damn button would be effective. Number one, we don't want to see pictures of your food every night. We don't need to know what you eat or what restaurant you went to every single night. Unless, of course, you're a restaurant, you're a catering service, or you're providing a meal plan. So yeah. So the I don't give a damn button would be in full effect. All right. And number two, when you're riding in your car, having me time or what I would think would be me time, you're riding in your car and you go live playing your music just randomly. Yeah. The I don't give a damn button is in full effect. <laughs> and number three, which is the honorable mention, I don't need to see or we don't need to see because remember the votes are in. It's breaking news. I don't need to see pictures of you on a lounge chair in front of the ocean showing your feet. I don't need to see it. And more so, it's just telling me that you missed your last appointment for your pedicure. All right? So Facebook, I hope you're listening because this is breaking news. Please add the I don't give a damn button. And now we'll return to our regular scheduled programming. And coming up next on Queen of Chronicles Talk, I have the CEO and owner, Sheena Mora of Boss Chick Boutique. You know how we love bosses, so stay Hold tuned. Welcome back to Queen of Chronicles Talk. I am Jay West. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am here with CEO and owner, Sheena Mora of Boss Chick Boutique. Welcome, Sheena. Thank you for having me today. I'm glad to be here. Thank you so much. Girl, I shop in your store. You know, you have the great <laughs> discount. You have the great trinkets. So tell me, what is Boss Chick Boutique? Boss Chick Boutique is a boutique for women of all sizes, mm -hmm. from sizes small to sizes 3X. Oh, wow. You know, fashion is my passion. Right. So that's the reason I went into business, just to make women feel good about themselves, okay. no matter what size you are. Right, exactly. So with all the challenges that we face as women in society and the ideology of we got to be our best and always put our best foot forward, mm -hmm. you're giving women that opportunity. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have so many women that come into my boutique mm -hmm. to shop, mm -hmm. and they're afraid to step out of the box. Mm -hmm. One thing about me in this business, and I told them, it's not about the money. Mm -hmm. It's about making that person feel good about themselves. Right. So they may like one thing, and then I tell them, no, let me put you in this. Okay. When okay. I put them in this, right. they walk away happy, and I'm happy. Right. <laughs> so now I have their full trust. Right. So they're stepping outside of the box due to your encouragement. Yes. I love it. Yes. Okay. okay. So how long have you been in business? I've been in business for five years. Mm -hmm. I have an online store okay. as well as a boutique. Okay. Um, 
it's, it's wonderful. I mm. love it, you know. Mm. And like I said, once again, it's just about making beautiful mm. women of all sizes feel mm. good about themselves. Exactly. Well, I see you out, girlfriend. I see you doing your thing. You having your <laughs> business. And you always wearing something nice. So everything that you wear, can we find it at your store? Yes, because mm -hmm. I feel like who better has to model my clothes than me? Right. You know, so everything that comes into my shop that's in my size, mm -hmm. I'm my own model. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right, baby. I'm going Represent. to put it with the purse, the right. sunglasses, the matching shoes. I'm right. going to give you everything. Right. Give it. Give it to give, you. Give it them life. Just give it to you. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that is wonderful. So from head to toe, we yes. can be in Boss Chick Boutique. Yes. Is what you're saying. Yes. I love it. Yes. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a commercial break. We're going to see the trinkets that Boss Chick Boutique has to offer. And we'll be right back. So stay Hold tuned. Up, Welcome back to Queen of Chronicles Talk. I am Jay West, and I'm here with Sheena Mora, CEO and owner of Boss Chick Boutique. All right, Sheena, so we were talking about the store. Is your clothing line only online? Okay, due to the pandemic, my mm -hmm. store is online only now, mm -hmm. which works out good for me mm -hmm. because I'm able to provide uh, my customers with a better service. Okay. Um, they don't have to come out. You right. know, I deliver to their doors mm -hmm. or I ship to them if it's their preference. Mm -hmm. You know, I would meet them at whatever location. Mm -hmm. You know, I have two locations, but I would meet them mm -hmm. to help them out, you right. know, to make it easier for my customers. Right. You know, but it works out better for me mm -hmm. than um, being in the actual shop. Right. So the, the pandemic has definitely taken a toll on all businesses, especially the smaller businesses. Yes, so exactly. So you used to, you had a store right, front, right? Because right. I know I came to the storefront before. Yes. Okay. And that was located where? It was located on um, 183rd Street in mm. Northwest um, 2nd Avenue okay. in the 99 building. Okay. Do you think that's an option to go back to the store or is the online pretty much your new normal? The online is going to be the new normal for right. me. I've learned that it works out so much better for me right. because now, you know, I don't have, it's no... I don't have to sit there all day. Mm -hmm. um, it's better for me. I can go just deliver to my customers. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm at home now. Mm -hmm. I use my laptop. I use my phone. I can right. just shop on there, right. you know, for um, the clothing for my store, mm -hmm. my inventory. You know, I don't have all the overhead anymore. <laughs> right. So now I can see, you know, mm -hmm. my profit more and everything. So it works out so much better. And with the pandemic, a lot of people don't want to come out. Mm -hmm. You know, so I put on my mask, right. put on my shield. Social distancing. And social distance. And I go and I deliver to them. Some of them I call them and I say, is that the door? Mm -hmm. You know, and they pick it up from the door. Or some people choose, you know, for me to, um, you know, ship it to them. Because mm -hmm. I also ship out of state, you right. know, to people, to okay. my customers and everything. So right. it's so much better for me. Okay, so you're not only isolated to the state of Florida, you ship all I over ship the United all States. all over the United States. And so. that is wonderful. That's and, a wonderful service. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sheena, so we hear all the time that people say the market is like oversaturated with clothing boutiques. What do you think about that? I feel like if that's what you want to do, mm -hmm. go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I told you before, fashion is my passion. Right. I don't care if it's a thousand people <laughs> with clothing boutiques. That's mm -hmm. not going to stop me for going after my dream, mm -hmm. you know, and like I said, I've been in business for five years. I've had more, uh, more good than bad, mm -hmm. you know, and I can honestly say that it has been, you know, you have your seasons with any business, right. you know, you're going to have your struggles and, mm -hmm. you know, like I said, branding, you are the face behind your brand. No matter how you feel, don't let anybody discourage you. Just keep going. Exactly. Just keep marketing. You know, it's mm -hmm. like we started, uh, um, like a uh, our Black Wall Street that I said, and we did it in a church parking lot, where a lot of us with different small businesses collaborated together, nice. and we supported each other, okay. and that was to give everybody exposure in their different businesses. But it didn't bother me if someone else was there that had a clothing boutique. I wasn't gonna be like, oh, don't have it, okay. don't have it, okay. because we don't all sell the same thing, right? But the let me tell you what I do. Mm -hmm. I look at every boutique's clothing, okay, <laughs> and I say, okay, 
I'm not going to be like everybody else. I don't want to have everything that everyone else have in their boutique. Exactly. I want to be unique. I want to stand out from them. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to say, oh, a boutique have what every boutique has. No, I want them to say, okay, when you go to her boutique, you're going to get different. Yeah. You're going to stand out. Right. Because anybody that knows me know mm -hmm. when I go out, I don't want to look like everybody else. Yeah, you want to be different. I want to be a different, different swag. Right. Yeah. So I look for things that others don't have in their boutiques. Okay. So what would you tell, and, and that's a wonderful thing that you do, because a lot of the boutiques have a lot of similar items, mm -hmm. but there's something for everybody. Right. So what would you tell someone who is interested in going into a clothing boutique? I would tell them, go for it. Go for your dreams. Don't get discouraged about how many people have the same business or how many people are in the same line or field of work that you're in. Mm -hmm. Just go for it. I mean, sit down. Like now I'm incorporating sunglasses. Everybody know I love sunglasses. Right. So now I'm incorporating sunglasses into my boutique. Nice. You know, so you just sit down and you find out what works for you. You know, what is it that you want to bring mm -hmm. to this industry? What is it that you would like to bring to fashion? Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. you can bring out your own different. You can, I mean, it's different ideas. Everybody's different. Not everyone dresses alike. And I find out, it's like, I'm glad you mentioned that. Mm -hmm. So I find that it's about styling. How yes. you wear it, what you pair it with. Like this beautiful purse here from your boutique yes. that you have. It's about Adding that to the dress. Exactly. Most people won't think about pairing this no, with it, right? They will not. So, okay. you know, you just sit down and you think about what will work for you. What mm -hmm. is it that you like? Mm -hmm. Everybody knows I always have to have the matching purse, the matching sunglasses, <laughs> the matching shoes. Everything <laughs> That's is going to That's just how Sheena does it. When I put it on, I'm going to give it to you yeah. all the way. Child, don't give me the life. All the way. Yes. <laughs> Okay, exactly. <laughs> Giving me life. Boom. So you know how you should wear that outfit, you right. know. And like I said, if you come into my shop or you come to me and you like something, and I, if I don't feel that mm -hmm. it's going to be becoming of you, mm -hmm. I'm not going to sell it to you because I'm not in business for the money. I went into the business to make women feel good about themselves. Oh, I love that. Because when you post that picture, you mm -hmm. represent the Boss Chick Boutique. The boss. So you need to be fabulous. Exactly. <laughs> And we love to be fabulous. Exactly. You know that. Okay? Exactly. Right, exactly. Wonderful. So you're empowering queens. You're straightening crowns. Yes. I love it, boo. Keep yes. doing it. Keep yes. queening, yes. mama. Yes. I Thank love you it. so much. Oh, my goodness. So tell my viewers where they can find you. You can find me on Facebook at Boss Chick Sheena. You can find me on Instagram, Boss Chick underscore boutique. And you can also find my website, www dot bosschickboutique.com. Thank you so much, Sheena, for coming and allowing me to interview you and to find out the information about Boss Chick Boutique. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. I'm glad to be here. All right. So you have all the information that you need to shop at Boss Chick Boutique. And for my viewers, I got a little surprise for you. Yes. 10% discount. Use the code QUEENUP. All right. QUEENUP will give you a 10% discount. Don't forget, Thank you so much for tuning in to Queen Up Chronicles Talk. I have more great show for you. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Queen Up Chronicles Talk. I am Jay West, and I'm here with CEO and owner of Scent Buzz, Verontia Barnes, but she's better known as Sean. Hey, Sean. Hey, how are you? You're welcome to the talk, boo. Yes, love. Queen Up. <laughs> Exactly. So tell my viewers, what is Scent Buzz? Scent Buzz is your one-stop fragrance shop where you can get your um, body moisturizers from, your mm -hmm. house fragrance from, which mm -hmm. is very versatile because mm -hmm. you can use it in a car, you can use it in a house. Mm -hmm. I'm just all about fragrance. Mm -hmm. um, soon coming candles and candle melts. Mm, nice. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm so excited about that. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, bath gels, um, Yoni soaps, um, um, fragrance soaps. Wow. So it's just a variety of where you can all just shop at one place for your, your body needs and your household needs. Okay. So one stop shop. Mm -hmm. But girl, I've been denying myself because I've only been focused on the shea butters. Right. And right. you know what's my favorite? <laughs> Be loved. <What>? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. Be loved. That's Be my loved. favorite. Mm -hmm. Then my second favorite is pink sugar. What? The well just, well, just tell everybody what it is, all right? I have to know my, I've known her for a while, and 
she just loved the fragrance, but to know her is to love her, so you got to know what she likes. So, exactly. Yeah. Uh, because she's a queen. She's, she's, you know, up and up and just up and just. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell you this. You can you can elevate me, and I appreciate the accolades, <laughs> but I hope you got my beloved over there. <laughs> right. And stop. All right. We're going to have a problem. <laughs> All right. So how long have you been in business, sis? I have been in business since um, I moved away to Maryland mm -hmm. back in 2014, so um, I met with one of my partners. Um, mm -hmm. She's since passed away. Her name is Sean Lindsay. Oh, wow. And um, thank mm -hmm. you. And I brought it down to Miami because our conversation was we always wanted to shop down in Miami. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, all right. So then when I branched off and moved, I was flying home mm -hmm. selling. So I've been in business uh, for about seven years now. Wow, nice. Congratulations on thank that. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. So how well have you been supported in the community? I've been well supported in the community. Mm -hmm. um, when I first launched it, I flew mm -hmm. down to Miami. I did a women's conference at my church. Mm -hmm. And um, we I sold out. Wow. I sold out of everything. And I was so excited. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can do this. Yes. Or whatever. So um, it just went from there. Mm -hmm. The love, the beauty, it just mm -hmm. exploded from there. Okay. Um, I was up uh, Maryland selling the product down here in Miami right. without even being here. So that was love. Right. That's motivation was... for you to come back to Miami. Correct. Correct. Okay. Correct. So, but let's, let, let me ask you this and I apologize. I didn't mean, mean to cut you off, but what motivates you to even initially start the business? I always love fragrance. I always love mm -hmm. how, um, women or humans period, um, gives off a fragrance itself. Mm -hmm. But then when you add to it, mm -hmm. it exemplifies your, your, what your natural fragrance is. Okay. So I would like, if you have like a fragrance in your home, I would come, oh, that smells like pineapple girl. What you got going on? Mm -hmm. Candles. I love candles because I just feel like everything is need, need to be lit. Mm -hmm. Hence what the little kids say now, right. you know, like yeah. bright, bright, everything right. popping and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So. I am just like a fragrance person. Mm -hmm. So um, even in food, you smell mm -hmm. your food, it's a fragrance right. there. It's stimulating. Correct. That's what it is. Correct. Because I spoke earlier with my first guest, you were not here, mm -hmm. but I talked about being soft to the touch and sweet to the taste. Oh, yes. Right? I yeah. I love that. That's yeah, what I said. Yeah, yeah. So let me ask you this. So scents go along with body, body, your body chemistry. chemistry. Mm -hmm. All right. So if I wear something like my beloved, mm -hmm. my favorite, mm -hmm. and you wear beloved, would it give off the same? Is it true that it will give off a different? It will scent it will it will because again anything that we put on the skin or anything that we intake is amplified through our skin so we have to be careful what we put on our skin and inside our mouth because mm -hmm. of course we, we're we're mammals so it's going to exemplify through your pores okay. or whatever so you may have had a mimosa this morning you okay. put on your beloved so let me give off a sweet smell okay i may have had some shrimp and grits or okay. whatever so <laughs> it may give off a little tone little little um roll smell or something oh, or wow. whatever because different Different right. ingredients in our in our bodies okay. give off different um, fragrance. Oh wow! Well, well, educate me, queen, because you just told me something. <laughs> so what I ate or ingested early in the morning mm -hmm. would also be incorporated in a scent that I decide to wear for the day. That's correct. For really? example, like an alcoholic, you smell it through their pores. Mm -hmm. They drunk that alcohol oh, it's true. that whole night. It's true. That next day, it's pouring out. You're like, did you just have a drink? No. It's going to come out of wow. our system. It's going to come I out. never thought about it that way. Yeah. You're right. Okay, so we're going to take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to see the trinkets that Scent Buzz has to offer on display, and she better have my beloved in store. So stay tuned. Okay. Hold on. Welcome back to Clean Up Chronicles Talk. I am, again, Jay West. Thank you so much for staying tuned in, and I am here with the CEO of Scent Buzz, Sean. All right, so what do we have here, girlfriend? Okay, we have our um, four ounce jars that comes with a um, spatula, so you can dig it out better because mm -hmm. we notice that every you know every time you produce something, you want to make it better or whatever. Mm -hmm. So we know that a lot of our customers wear nails, mm -hmm. so it's like, all right, how can they? dig it out because they they're like oh girl let me scrape it and i scrape it out <laughs> no longer do you have to scrape so we have a spatula here <laughs> right um this is a cream that you will moisturize from head to toe it's all mm -hmm. natural so it's okay for you to use it from head to toe just a little bit on your face depending right. on your skin so can i wear this on my entire body yes from head, head my face well, your face, seek your dermatologist or whatever because everybody has different skin type of skin texture. Okay. I moisturize this with a little bit only because it has fragrance in it. Mm -hmm. So you have to be careful with that. Okay. Okay. So what do you use on your skin? Because your skin is absolutely beautiful. I just drink a lot of water. Okay. Legit, like a lot of water and I smile a lot. So, nice. Yeah. But <laughs> you know, our, our, our cheekbones are so, 20 right so now. So smiling works. Oh, yeah. All right, let me get the people a smile. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right.
right. Well, let's continue because I know you have new trinkets on mm -hmm. your line. What do we have here? Okay, so this is called a scent buzz buzz bag, mm -hmm. and it's full of six samples along with um, this mm -hmm. spatula and a pair of socks. Mm -hmm. So once you moisturize at night or um, pop them in your purse or do whatever, you can put the socks on because you're mm -hmm. training your skin. Okay. And with everything in life, you train your skin. Okay. Um, either you use a new makeup, you're training your skin, okay. you're using a new um, makeup, uh, I'm sorry, um, face moisturizer, you're training your skin. Okay. So you train your feet and when you go get your pedicure and look mm -hmm. all pretty and stuff, mm -hmm. it's a little more smoother than what okay. they expect. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So when you say training your skin, I need you to elaborate on that a little bit for my viewers because I'm not quite understanding. When you say train your skin, what are you saying as far as the response to the new product? Response to any product for that okay. nature. Mm -hmm. For example, when you start something new, mm -hmm. you have to introduce it to your body, okay. be it anything in life. Mm -hmm. So when you're um, um, introducing your body to a new moisturizer, mm -hmm. you train your skin, you, you want it to feel soft, you mm -hmm. want it to feel nice, and you want it to feel luxurious or whatever. Mm -hmm. right. So you, you apply it. So once you keep applying it daily, 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 then your skin's like, okay, I absorbed that, I okay. got it, okay. you know, and then it starts reacting. So right. some some people react a different way. Some people like, yeah. oh my God, you know, your skin is so soft or whatever. So okay. that's only because your skin said, okay, it's good product. Okay. I'm going to accept this. Okay. So let me ask you this, Sean. So when you're incorporating a new product, moisturizer, uh, shea butters into your beauty regimen, mm -hmm. should you pay attention to how your body is reacting or how your skin is reacting. Absolutely. Your skin is going to tell you. Your body's going to tell you. Okay. Your body is a, is kind of like a, um, a respondent, sort of. Okay. So anything you um, digest or put in your body, you're going to mm -hmm. have a reaction to it, okay. be it a good or a bad, because your body's going to be like, oh, that's good for me. Right. Oh, that's not good for me or whatever. So right. um, you're going to apply it on your skin. And your, if your skin turns red, please seek a, uh, your professional um, doctor or whatever. Right. But you, you you will know because okay. your body will respond to okay. it. All right. Absolutely. So what do we have here, Sister Queen? Because I see this and then my <laughs> eyes keep gravitating to it. What is this? So this is like a little cute little um, buzz, um, just a sample bag or whatever. So we give it out to our clients when we're mailing or um, if you're in the store or whatever, we may throw it in your bag mm -hmm. and you can throw it in your purse. So a little goes a long way. <laughs> right, it does. So I'll give you the purple passion. Thank and you. I will take C Miami. So that we have a variety of fragrances and stuff. Oh so J West used her but, fingers. So we're going. But to wait use a minute. Spatula. Look at the. But look at the consistency. Look at mm -hmm. the the thickness, the firmness of it. Mm -hmm. Wow, I love it. And go keep keep rubbing because a little goes a long but look way. At this. Look and at look this. at this little bit I used. But and sis, look how it has my skin glowing. Right. It's, a, it's, it's absorbing amazing. it. It's absorbing it. because Moisturizing. Remember, right. There's a lot of particles in our house. Outside, we walk from the car to the oh house, and you're like, my God, what happened to my skin or whatever? It's dried out or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it happens. Right. You know? So, so this protects you from all the different foreign items or that we things that you encounter. That, eye. Right. Correct. Right. Wow. Oh, my God. So tell the people, tell my viewers... Well, we can find you, girlfriend, because this, honey, <laughs> this purple passion is serious. You can find Scent Buzz at www.scentbuzz.store. We also have a location now, new location located on 180 Northwest 183rd Street, door 107, Suite 9, inside of Creative Style Suites. Um, I also do a lot of bending um, e events, so you can probably catch me here and there. Also, our social, social media Facebook and Instagram, Scent Buzz LLC. Just look for the bumblebees. You'll see us buzzing, <laughs> buzzing, buzzing. I'm going to tell you what Sean is trying to do. She's trying to get all my money. But I'm going to tell you, I have a little gift for you all. For my viewers, there's a 10% discount. Use the code QUEENUP. All right? Because I'm going to use my own code today. Trust and believe that. All right? Thank you so much for staying tuned in to Queen Up Chronicles Talk. I really appreciate the support. You're worthy. You're valuable. You are enough. Keep queening. My look of today is representing two sister queens. I felt absolutely amazing this episode. This fabulous deep curl unit is from Pinup Dolls. And honey, I'm giving splashes of colors in this two-piece ensemble. Yellows, greens, blues, red, and of course black. This two-piece is from Boss Chick Boutique, who was absolutely an amazing guest today on the show. So check her out. Don't forget to use your cleanup code for your 10% discount. 
Thank you so much for tuning in to Queen Up Chronicles Talk. Stay tuned for the next episode.